This is Jeff. Jeff is a first year engineering student at Stevens. Here, you can see Jeff struggling to do his graphics homework at 2 a.m. because Jeff is a procrastinator. Unfortunately, Jeff can't seem to get any precise measurements. Oh look, he's trying to use that protractor. Jeff has read the wrong angle measurements. He's probably going to have to redo that. Now he's measuring with the ruler. That is definitely not accurate. Jeff is going to be up until at least 5 a.m. Uh-oh, it looks like our old pal Jeff is starting to get very frustrated with measuring. What's that he's doing? Oh, it looks like Jeff has come up with a caffeine-fueled moment of genius. It seems like our good friend Jeff has come up with an innovative new ruler design. Let's cut to Steven to give us the details. So the product Jeff came up with just now was a digital ruler. He's frustrated. He can't get any, he can't get any accurate measurements done. He has to keep redrawing and measuring, and he's probably going to fail this exam. So he comes up with this idea, right? And it's genius. I mean, it's, it isn't just for engineers. It's for carpenters, archaeologists, architects, teachers, and even your average Joe homeowners trying to build a treehouse that don't kill his kid with some faulty measurements. This ruler works like a caliper, tape measure, and a protractor. How great is that? With the digital readout of each measurement. Even better, it hooks up to your computer with data for each measurement. Genius. Now let's get back to Jeff. Oh, it looks like Jeff has finished making his prototype. Let's take a look. Good job, Jeff. Wow, this SolidWorks model looks pretty legit. Jeff tells me it even measures in DPI. As you can see here, it works as both a protractor and a caliper. This will not only help Jeff get his homework done, but work accurately too. Guess I don't need this anymore. Cause now that I have the digital ruler, I can rule the world.